At this time, representing her father, she is the manager of the Pennsylvania Water Company in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, a former model herself. Please welcome Judy McCoy. And her father, Julius McCoy, the newest member of the Hall of Fame. Good evening. In a true joyous McCoy manner, my family and I first would like to extend our congratulations to all of the inductees tonight. My father was a very humble man. And you have to understand, before I start speaking, he never told me about all the things he did. He would visit the high school and, and always be a part of athletic things within the community. And a lot of you know more about him in that way than I did, because he was my dad. If my father were here tonight, he would first recognize his family. This evening, we have his wife, Betty McCoy, and his grandchildren, Amber McCoy, along with Justin and Julian Jordan, all, might I add, with natural athletic ability. I'd like for them to stand so that you know who they are. I also would like to recognize my friends, Sharon and Donald Smith, who traveled to be with us today. Sharon and Donald. When I think of fans, I would be remiss if I did not acknowledge the hometown where my father grew up, a small town outside of Pittsburgh named Farrell, PA. There, his two sisters continue to reside, along with relatives and a host of friends. This is where he first leaves a host of memories. Let's face it, in Farrell, Pennsylvania, they were his first fans. They say Julius McCoy put Farrell on the map. This is where he attained the name Hooks, McCoy, where he is also known as the legend. The fans of Farrell held a memorial service and months later held a dedication ceremony where they dedicated a bus and renamed the street beside the McCluskey Gymnasium McCoy Way. Then we look at Michigan State, the college of choice the college selected coming out of high school over Penn State and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Why would he choose Michigan State? The college that allowed my dad to not only play football, but run track and play basketball. Who would only know that my dad was actually at Michigan State on a football scholarship? only to gain admirers of fans on the basketball court of Michigan State. I just have to say this. You can only imagine the joy he had during the Penn State-Michigan State games. <laughs> After leaving Michigan, his final destination was Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, where he made his home. Let me add, that my dad played basketball in his 70s, still running up and down the court with an old timers league. <laughs> Leaving the team after playing his last game in Utah. He played until his body would not let him play anymore. If there is a basketball court in heaven, I'm sure he is there front and center. In closing, it is an honor to accept this great recognition on behalf of my father, the late Joyce McCoy. 
It is a greater honor for his grandchildren to have an opportunity to walk the same grounds as their grandfather and to know this recognition is not much about the, his athletic accomplishments while a student athlete at Michigan State University as it is about his character as a very, very humble person before, during, and after his days at Michigan State University. And for that, with this Hall of Fame induction and the knowledge and presence of his grandchildren, his journey is complete and his legacy will endure forever. On behalf of the Julius McCoy family, we express our sincere thanks to the Michigan State Hall of Fame. Thank you.